and tomorrow the Giants are playing the Lions. Giants have lost three straight, but you know what? They're only two games out of first place. Why are you laughing? Because it's the NFC East. <laughs> only two games out of first place. The NFC East. Yeah. Is the best. Well, thank you, Washington Redskins. Redskins. Uh, thank you, Redskins. Moving on. This is New York. Yeah, well, it would be an automatic two wins for the Giants. But the, li the, the Lions are firing are coaches over there. there. You think they're better? They're much the Lions they've also are lost three straight. Kenny much Galladay team, is one of the best wide receivers in the league. He's, he's not been competitive. coming through for my fantasy team, though. He's, but he's continue. And that's what you got to watch. Exactly. You, you've got to watch the Giants on the defensive side. it. Yeah, but Matt Patricia does a great job with their defense, yeah. and you got to see again what the Giants can do offensively. But this, uh, you know, just because they're two, three, and one, it's not a that's not an easy game for the Giants, not all at right. all. Meantime, Jets Jaguars, interesting story here for the Jets. Their lineman here, offensive lineman Kaleche Osimile. Mm -hmm. Well done. I got. I've been practicing Nailed that it. all night long. Nailed it. Uh, had sh shoulder surgery against the team's wishes, and they cut him. He's got a torn labrum wall. You're the exit pro. They wanted him to play through that torn labrum. He said, no, I'm getting surgery, and they cut him. Now, to be clear, they thought it was a pre-existing injury that he had been playing with anyway. But the fact he should have been able to finish the season and then get the surgery. That's the story, anyway, that's being told by reporters, is that that's what the Jets were feeling. That They, they actually haven't been happy with the way he's been playing anyway. So this is just a, such a bizarre thing well, to trade I, I, for him. The offensive line has not been good. I give Osemele a lot of credit. He's looking out for his best Agreed. interests. He's looking out for his career. Um, you know, when I went through injuries with my different teams, I always used to go for a second opinion outside of the team he went doctor. For three opinions. That's smart. <laughs> That's smart. You gotta you gotta look out for yourself. The team's best interest is to put you out there on the Absolutely. field, even if you're not 100% healthy. Uh, That's KD Golden State. Sorry, we Ooh. had this conversation. Continue. That's, you need to look out for your best injury, especially in football, because yeah. in football, if you have, if you go out there, you play hurt, say you, you know, have a career ending injury, get money's not guaranteed. So you got to make sure you get yourself right for your future career and your future years to come. So how does this look for the Jets situation. now going forward? Like, think about this is they were finding him almost, what, $580,000? Like yeah, he was. So they but cut him now. That, no, they, they were, were finding, finding him. him. Now they cut him and they have this fight. He's still trying to get his money that he's owed this There's year, about $9 million. Yep. Well, how does this look now if you're a free agent or another player that wants, you know, that the Jets want to sign you? Like, is there, does this change now the way you think well, they the do Well, the Jets business? better clean up their perception because you never want to be that organization that isn't taking care of the players. You've got to be mindful of the climate. We've seen athletes take their careers by the reins more than right. we've ever seen. Like, this is where we are in terms of athlete empowerment. You're going to tell me not to have surgery? And i got three doctors right. telling you I don't have a labrum anymore? Yeah. <laughs> are you kidding me? That's true. Right. Also of note here, we got the Saints. Drew Brees goes down. They win five straight games with Teddy Bridgewater. Brees' thumb is healthy. He's going to start now with the Saints against the Cardinals. Mine now, doesn't like this. I don't like this at all. Well, but, you know, isn't that the old rule that start, you never lose your job because of injury? I guess I've heard that in football conversations. Unless you're Drew Bledsoe, but that's, that's for another story. <laughs> <laughs> Wally Pitt. <laughs> well, right, right. <laughs> right. Well, Wally Pitt. Right. Right. Yeah. You would go, why would you, yeah, Brees are they got a bye week coming up. That's what I'm saying. Drew Brees is safe. They've got a bye week coming up. Teddy Bridgewater is, they're winning. They're winning. And I don't feel now, like Drew people, Brees needs to be concerned about his job in the big picture. I agree no, he's with not that. concerned about his job. But in the end, who's going to take you to where they ultimately want to get to? That's the Super Bowl. Give, right, right. Give the kid another week. you so got a bye week. Play Bridgewater one on. more week and then and then yeah. Bruce back yeah, I'm waiting until the bye week. Some will say that they were winning despite Teddy Bridgewater. Yes. Because his numbers haven't been great. Right. Now, I'm, I'm the biggest Teddy Bridgewater fan there is, all the way back to when he played in college. Came I back from to a be a Jet. Terrible 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 injury. Injury. Yeah, yeah, no. Come back. He's a great story, a great Brutal. kid. But there are people that think, you know what, that they're better with Breeze. They've been winning with Bridgewater. Knock on wood, he tweaks the thumb in this game. This is not wood. I know it's not wood, but, but follow you, me. Like, you, what's the, what are we risking? You like, gotta trust see, that he's healthy. Yeah. You gotta trust the doctors and Drew Brees that the thumb is 100% healthy. What did we say last segment? It benefits the team to do what? Yeah, but Drew Brees is also a guy that's on a different level. He's a future Hall of Famer. They're not gonna mess year. around with the franchise quarterback.